As a dog lover, I have really been looking forward to this interview with Joe Dog. Have you ever in your life seen a more beautiful face? Oh, he knows we're talking about him. And Arch Whiting, you're nice, too. Thank you very much. <laughs> Arch, didn't anybody ever tell you, don't get in a show with a dog or an animal. You're in a lot of trouble. No, how do you feel about doing this, this new I think series? it's wonderful, just wonderful. It's going to be on Saturday mornings for the children. It's going to be a great show. Different values the children have now. They're watching cartoons and stuff. This is a, a show about a man's relationship with a dog. Uh -huh. What and is the storyline, basically? Well, Joe is an attack train war dog. Now, the way we're treating him right now, you'd never know yes, it. Yes, he's gentle as a lamb. But on command, uh, he's trained to attack. And he and I spent three years together in Vietnam. And we came back to the United States for debriefing. And there was an incident where the trust between the two of us was broken. The love is still there, but the trust has been broken. And I'm just trying to get the trust back. Uh -huh. And I keep chasing him. And we have confrontations, you know, as close as you and I. And he turns and runs because he just doesn't trust me anymore. Mm. Now, that has to pose some very special problems for the training of this animal, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's trained by a man named Carl Miller, who has done a lot of movie work. And it's just marvelous what Carl has done with this dog. Mm -hmm. I don't give him any commands myself. They're all done off camera by Carl. And uh, the dog responds beautifully. Yes. He's a terrific dog. Have you ever had dogs, Arch, of your very Oh, own? I have one of my own, sure. Oh, what is your dog? It's a little poolie, about this big, and it has more guts than a 200-pound dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, poolie, or do you mean cross poodle? between a, oh. a poodle and a collie, actually. It's uh, oh. a weird kind. I found him in the street. He was lying in the street one day, and a meter maid had him. And she asked me to help, and I said, I'll take him. And I brought him home, I had him ever since. I've had him about two years now. What does he look like? A little black, shaggy dog. His name is Ragmop. And that's what he looks like, a rag mop. <laughs> yes. But he's a wonderful dog. Well, I had a Dalmatian. I guess that was my favorite dog. I had him longer than any other, and that's a marvelous kind of oh, dog. Or at least is. this particular one was a right. great dog. You have done a lot of traveling in your life, haven't you? Uh, yes, I have, and I'm not through yet. <laughs> well, where is the most exotic place you ever traveled to? My favorite place is Paris. The city of Paris is, I would live there tomorrow if I had the opportunity. Would you really? Yeah, but I've been to Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Bali. I used to be a cameraman prior to becoming an actor, and I've traveled the whole world shooting film. Yes. Now, what was it about Paris? Was it that for your work it was so incredible, or what? Well, most Americans going to Europe find hostility. I went there as a very poor young man, and I found nothing but friendship and love. And the people were marvelous to me. And I think because of that reason, I'm accepted there. How many years ago was that, Arch? I first went in 1967. And then I lived there from 69 to 71. And I haven't been back. I made one short trip there in 1972. And I haven't been back since. Mm -hmm. I look forward to going back. Now, you were a cameraman. What kinds of films were Independent you Independent motion pictures. Oh. Low feature. budget. You mean feature Feature film. pictures, yeah. Uh-huh. They were released by Roger Corman, AIP. Uh, the one I did in Malaysia is a marvelous, marvelous children's story. It's called The Rare Blue Apes of Cannibal Isle. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened with the distribution. I've, n I've yet to see it out. I haven't seen it out yet. Uh -huh. But it was just a beautiful movie what for was the, children. What was the kind of idea of it? Well, it's really a pretty lengthy thing to explain. We had the heads made for all the people in the show. They wore heads with animated mouths, animated eyes. A puppeteer in Australia did all this for us. And it was a story of Captain Croc and the rare blue apes. And uh, oh, I just can't get into the whole thing. It yeah. was just a marvelous experience for me. And we were in Singapore and Malaysia on that film for four months. And then, of course, I came back to the States and decided to become an actor again. And here I am. Yes, and here you are in Run, Joe, Run. Run, Joe, Run. Well, we'll look forward to seeing it, Arch. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for visiting with us today. And Joe Dog? <laughs> oh, he's over there with our cameraman. <laughs> Joe Dog, do you want to come say goodbye come to on. your public? Come yeah. Hey, come on. What does he weigh, do you suppose? Approximately 85 pounds. Uh, that's not your best side, Joe Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's all right, Joe Dog. Do your thing. <laughs> Do your thing. An independent dog. <laughs> Thanks, Art. Thank you.